Imagine standing at the brink of an immense, uncharted wilderness where the air is thick with anticipation and your heart thunders like a war drum in your chest. You see a path ahead, veiled in the mists of uncertainty, littered with challenges that loom like towering mountains and shadows that whisper of danger. Every instinct urges you to turn back, to seek the comfort of the familiar, but deep within there is a voice, a quiet, resolute voice, telling you that this very path, the one that sends chills down your spine, is the path you were always meant to tread. What if I told you that within those shadows lies your true strength, that beyond each daunting challenge, your deepest wisdom awaits? What if the key to unlocking your highest purpose is hidden in the very fears you've spent your life avoiding? Today, we don't just talk about fear, we stand up to it, we confront it, challenge it, and transform it into the fire that forges us into the men we are destined to become. Together, we will walk this path, not with hesitation, but with unwavering courage, with the knowledge that on the other side of fear lies the greatness we seek. If you've ever felt the cold grip of fear holding you back, if you've questioned your strength or doubted the direction of your journey, then this is the moment to take a stand. Join me on this transformative path. Like, comment and subscribe. Not just for more content, but to declare together that we will no longer be defined by our fears. We will rise above them, forge our own way and become the men we were meant to be. Now that we've embraced the call to confront our fears, let's dive deeper into the journey that awaits us. Understanding fear, the enemy within. Fear, it's a small word, but its impact is vast, echoing through the depths of our souls. It is an emotion so powerful that it can grip us tightly, molding our decisions and shaping the very fabric of our lives. Yet, fear is a phantom an unseen force that resides not in the world around us, but deep within our hearts and minds. It whispers doubts in our ears, casting shadows on our ambitions and convincing us that the path before us is too perilous to tread. But let us ask ourselves, what is fear, really? To the Stoics, fear is not some external monster waiting to pounce. Instead, it is a reflection of our inner state, a mirror that shows us our vulnerabilities, our worries, and our anticipations of what might come. Fear is born from our perception of future pain, loss, or failure. It is the dread of what could be, not what is. As the Stoic philosopher Seneca once wisely noted, we suffer more in imagination than in reality. These words pierce through the illusion of fear, revealing a truth that we often overlook. Many of the fears that hold us back exist only in our minds, not in the world we navigate. But acknowledging this truth is only the first step. The real challenge lies in how we respond to fear. Do we allow it to chain us down, to anchor us in a place of safety and stagnation? Or do we rise above it, understanding that fear is not something to be eradicated, but rather to be confronted and mastered. This is the essence of the man's path, a journey that demands we face our fears head on with unwavering courage and resolve. The Stoic path does not promise a life free of fear. Such a life would be devoid of challenge, growth and meaning. Instead, it calls us to embrace fear as a companion on our journey. We are asked to recognize its presence to understand its origins, and then to press forward regardless. It is not the absence of fear that defines a man, but his response to it. The man who walks the stoic path knows that fear will always be part of the journey, but he also knows that it is not the destination. As we forge our way forward, we must remember that fear is a natural part of the human experience. It is not something to be ashamed of, nor is it something to be avoided. Instead, it is something to be faced with dignity, strength 
and wisdom. The journey will indeed be tough, filled with moments where fear threatens to overtake us. But it is in these moments that we must stand the tallest, with our eyes fixed on the horizon, knowing that every step forward, no matter how small, is a victory over the fear that seeks to hold us back. In the end, the rewards of facing our fears are immeasurable. Every fear we conquer strengthens our character, sharpens our resolve, and brings us closer to the person we are meant to be. The man's path, guided by the principles of Stoicism, is not for the faint of heart. It is a path that demands courage, resilience, and an unshakable commitment to growth. But, for those who dare to walk it, the rewards are profound, a life lived with purpose, strength, and an unyielding sense of inner peace. So, as we stand at the crossroads of our fears, let us choose the path of courage. Let us face our fears head on, knowing that each step we take brings us closer to a life of true freedom, a life where fear no longer dictates our choices, but instead becomes the fuel that propels us toward our greatest potential. The Man's Path, a journey of duty, strength and wisdom. The man's path is not paved with ease or comfort. It's a journey laden with trials, moments of doubt and an ever-present demand to rise above the ordinary. This path is defined by the ideals of duty, strength and wisdom, values that, though challenging, are the very essence of what it means to live a life of purpose and honour. But what does this path truly ask of us? Let's begin with duty. In the Stoic tradition, duty is not just a responsibility, it is the very compass by which a man navigates his life. It is the internal voice that calls us to act with integrity, to fulfill our obligations to ourselves, our families and the broader society. Duty is not about convenience or personal gain. It is about doing what is right, even when it is difficult, even when fear tries to pull us back. A man who walks in the light of duty understands that his actions ripple out into the world, shaping not only his destiny, but also the lives of those around him. Duty is the bedrock upon which a man's character is built. It is the quiet yet unwavering commitment to uphold what is just, regardless of the cost. Then we turn to strength. Often strength is misconceived as merely physical prowess, but in the stoic sense, it is something far deeper. Strength is the inner resilience that allows us to stand firm when life storms rage with the fiercest winds. It is the mental and emotional fortitude that enables us to keep moving forward, even when every part of us wants to surrender. Marcus Aurelius, the philosopher emperor, imparted the wisdom that you have power over your mind, not outside events. Realize this and you will find strength. This strength is not about dominating others or proving oneself. It is about mastering the self. It is the courage to confront your fears, to step into the unknown and to endure hardship with grace and resolve. Strength is the silent power that keeps a man on his path, no matter how treacherous the road may become. Lastly, we have wisdom. Wisdom is the guiding light of the man's path, the beacon that illuminates the way forward. It is the understanding that life, in all its complexity, is a continuous journey of learning. Wisdom is not a gift we are born with. It is a quality we cultivate through experience, reflection, and the relentless pursuit of truth. The Stoics taught that wisdom is the ability to see beyond the surface, to perceive the deeper meaning in life's challenges, and to recognize that every fear, every obstacle, is an opportunity for growth. Wisdom is what allows us to make sound judgments, to discern what is truly important, and to act in accordance with reason and virtue. The man's path, therefore, is not a straight or simple one. It is a journey that demands we embrace our duties with honor, 
summon our inner strength in the face of adversity, and seek wisdom in all our endeavors. It is a path that calls us to live with purpose, to rise above our fears, and to forge ahead with the knowledge that every step, no matter how difficult, brings us closer to becoming the men we are meant to be. To walk this path is to commit to a life of meaning, to choose the harder right over the easier wrong, and to understand that true fulfillment comes not from avoiding fear or discomfort, but from facing them head on. The man's path is a call to live with courage, integrity, and an unwavering commitment to the values that define us. It is a path that, though arduous, leads to a life of profound significance and inner peace. Power of Facing Fears Real Life Examples To truly grasp the power of facing our fears, we need to look at those who have walked the path before us, men who have stood at the precipice of their greatest fears and emerged not just unscathed, but transformed. History provides us with profound examples of individuals who have faced their fears head-on, embodying the stoic ideals of duty, strength and wisdom. Consider the life of Nelson Mandela, a man who, in the face of almost unimaginable adversity, chose not to be paralyzed by fear, but instead to confront it with dignity and resolve. Mandela was imprisoned for 27 long years under the harshest conditions, separated from his family, his people, and his cause. In those cold, lonely cells, fear could have easily taken root, growing into bitterness and despair. But Mandela did not allow that. Instead, he used his imprisonment as a time to cultivate inner strength, to deepen his understanding of humanity, and to forge a vision for a better future. When he finally walked out of prison, it was not with anger or a desire for revenge, but with a spirit of reconciliation and a commitment to his duty to unite a fractured nation. Mandela's path was one of extraordinary resilience, of facing fear, transcending it, and turning it into a force for positive change. Then there is Viktor Frankl, a man whose life story is a testament to the Stoic principle that while we cannot always control our circumstances, we can control how we respond to them. Frankl, a psychiatrist, survived the horrors of the Holocaust, enduring the most dehumanizing conditions imaginable. In the concentration camps, fear was a constant companion, fear of death, fear of loss, fear of the unknown. Yet, in the midst of this terror, Frankl discovered a profound truth, that even when everything is taken from us, we still have the power to choose our attitude. He realized that by finding meaning in suffering, by choosing to see his torment as a test of his inner strength, he could transcend his fear. Frankl's wisdom, born out of the darkest of experiences, became a beacon of hope, not only for himself, but for countless others who read his seminal work, Man's Search for Meaning. His story teaches us that facing our fears is not about erasing them, but about transforming them into a source of inner fortitude and purpose. Another compelling example is the story of Sir Ernest Shackleton, the Antarctic explorer whose 1914 expedition became a legendary tale of survival. When his ship, the Endurance saw was trapped and eventually crushed by the relentless ice. Shackleton faced the terrifying reality of leading his men across the frozen wilderness with no hope of rescue. Fear could have crippled him, yet Shackleton chose to face it head on. His duty to his men, his unyielding strength in the face of overwhelming odds, and his wise decision-making under pressure turned what could have been a disaster into a story of courage and endurance. Shackleton's leadership saved every man under his command, proving that the true test of a man is not in how he avoids fear, but in how he confronts it with determination and wisdom. These men, Mandela, Frankel, Shackleton and countless others throughout history, 
show us that the essence of facing our fears lies not in the absence of fear, but in the mastery of it. They teach us that the man's path is not about walking an easy road, but about choosing to step forward, even when the way is fraught with danger and uncertainty. Their lives are a testament to the power of duty, strength and wisdom, and they remind us that by facing our fears head on, we not only overcome them but are transformed by them, emerging stronger, wiser and more resilient than before. So, as we navigate our own lives, let us draw inspiration from these real-life examples. Let us remember that every challenge we face, every fear we encounter, is an opportunity to grow, to strengthen our resolve and to deepen our wisdom. The man's path, though difficult, is a journey worth taking, for it leads us to a life of true fulfillment and lasting peace. Practical Steps – How to Face Your Fears – Head On In the vast landscape of life, every man must learn to face his fears if he is to walk the path of duty, strength and wisdom. The question is, how? How do we, as modern men, confront the fears that grip our hearts and cloud our minds? The answer lies in practical steps, rooted in Stoic philosophy, that guide us toward mastery over fear. Acknowledge your fears. The journey begins with honesty, with yourself. Fear thrives in the shadows, feeding on our refusal to acknowledge its existence. The first step is to bring your fears into the light. Don't deny them, don't run from them, and don't mask them with bravado. Instead, sit with them, observe them, and ask yourself, what am I truly afraid of? Is it failure, rejection, pain, or the unknown? By naming your fears, you strip them of their power. Remember that fear, as the Stoics teach us, is not an external force, but a reflection of our inner state. When you recognize fear as a part of your human experience, you begin to see it not as a foe to be vanquished, but as a challenge to be understood and overcome. Embrace your duty. In the face of fear, let your duty be your anchor. Duty is the compass that keeps you grounded when fear tries to lead you astray. Reflect on your responsibilities to yourself, your family, your community and the greater good. What do you owe to those who depend on you? What principles do you hold sacred? When fear threatens to paralyze you, Remember that your duty is not just an obligation, it is a source of immense strength. It is the force that drives you to act with honor, even when the road is steep and uncertain. The Stoics believed that living in accordance with duty is the foundation of a virtuous life. So, let your duties guide you, providing you with the resolve to face your fears head on, knowing that your actions have purpose and meaning beyond yourself. Cultivate Inner Strength Fear loses its grip when we cultivate inner strength, the kind of strength that comes from within and is unshakable by external circumstances. This strength is not about physical prowess, it's about mental resilience and emotional stability. Begin by practicing self-discipline in your daily life. Engage in meditation or mindfulness to quiet the mind and focus your thoughts. Learn to control your emotions, rather than being controlled by them. Marcus Aurelius, one of the greatest Stoic philosophers, reminds us that you have power over your mind, not outside events. Realize this, and you will find strength. Conclusion, the path forward. The man's path is not a straight line, it's a winding journey, filled with twists and turns that will challenge you in ways you never expected. But here's the truth. Facing your fears head-on is about far more than just overcoming obstacles. It's about transformation. About becoming the man you were always meant to be. Each fear you face, each challenge you rise to meet, forges you in the fires of duty, strength and wisdom, shaping you into a person of true character. As you continue on this path, 
let the wisdom of the Stoics be your compass. Their teachings are not just ancient words, they are living principles that have guided countless souls through the most difficult of trials. Let them be your guide when the way is unclear, your source of strength when the road is steep, and your beacon of wisdom when you face life's toughest decisions. Remember, it is not the absence of fear that defines you, but the courage with which you confront it. It's how you choose to stand in the face of adversity, how you learn from each experience, and how you grow stronger and wiser with every step. So, as you walk this path, do so with courage in your heart. Face your fears, not with dread, but with the knowledge that each one is an opportunity to forge yourself anew. Walk the path, not because it is easy, but because it is the path that leads to the man you aspire to be. And, when you emerge on the other side, you will not only be stronger and wiser, you will be ready to face whatever life brings next, with the confidence that you have walked the man's path with honor. If these words resonated with you, if you felt even a flicker of inspiration, I encourage you to like, subscribe, and share this video with others who might be on a similar journey. Let's build a community of strength and wisdom, guided by the enduring teachings of the Stoics. Until we meet again, stay strong, stay wise, and keep forging your way forward.